morning guys, how you doing, how you doing? Uncle Craig here, on the Bunnock, in my little bamboo palace. Well, I guess it's, actually no, it's not even morning anymore, it's afternoon, because I got up early, just after the rain stopped, and uh, got to work and finished up that, the base wall, <coughs> base part of the brick wall that I'm putting up to uh, you know to level off that foundation next step just put the get the rest of the bricks up flatten it out pack it put that rebar crossed out over the whole thing call in the pour cement truck come in do the pour and then uh, after that's set up it's just a matter of putting them them walls up but you know I did more sanding in between rains it rained it and I sanded that bench did I say rained it it, ra <laughs> it rained and then I sanded the bench after it stopped raining and then it rained again and I sanded the bench again and it rained again man although the sun is out right now it's uh 115 p.m. on Thursday. Hey, it's Thursday. We got Thursday market. Or, or we have market every day here, but every Thursday there's a you know bigger market. It goes on the other side of the street. The daily market is covered, and then the big market on Thursday is just tents, you know. But it's pretty good. Always go out there and get some, get some. But uh, I'm gonna show you in this video. Also, I had a couple people ask about how we're doing stuff on the, you know, on the property. I can't really film. I could, but I don't want to. I guess film, you know, start to finish on something because there's so much dead space in there. It's like. Do I want to watch two hours, three hours of video just to edit it down? I mean, I don't know. I know there are some people, I mean, I liked when I was watching YouTube all the time. You know, I, there's some channels that I'd watch and I don't care what they're doing. I just watch it. But, um, I think I, I might set something up like a live stream. Not where I'm by the wall. Like a nature cam. On one part of the farm or something. So, you know, if you want to tune in anytime, you can catch me working or catch me maybe even making a video or. Uh, you know, catch my cat killing something. A lizard or a bird brought a bird up in the house. I got a little bit of video, but I, I, I'm not going to show it. He brought one of these good birds. These birds always, they're always in pairs. It was under the, like under the bench in the living space of the house, living room, whatever you call it, entranceway. And I heard it. And I was like, what the hell? And I looked underneath there and it was a big old bird. And of course, you know how cats are. They just, they taunt it and play with it until they decide, I'm going to kill you. And then they eat them, right? Well, he hadn't done that yet. I think he bit him once, and his back had a little bit of mark on it. But I was shooting away. I picked up the bird and I brought him outside and said, "Be on your way." So I let him go. But they're good, man. The cats are getting bigger and smarter. They'll just come out here, like by this bamboo hut. And they'll just lay next to a bush or something and sleep there and. They, they're light sleepers, cats are, so they'll sleep there, and if they hear a bird walking by or something, they like one eye it, and then they will bam, and pounce on When they were kittens, they were, you know, they weren't that good at it. But it's been six months now, right, since we had them, or five months, so they're big. And they're big enough to take care of themselves, so... Oh, my 
my gosh. Wait, wait a minute, man. Why did my other little light turn on? Hmm. I ain't got that plugged in or something. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's, I put a few things together, you know, stuff on the shop house and my bench maybe and that I'm moving this. I showed how I moved those cement rings into position and uh, yeah, and that's about it, I guess. I'm too tired to think right now. I could just take a nap right here. <laughs> Alright guys, well, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye catch you. Hey guys, so a couple of you asked, how did we do that? Well, and that is the cement rings. <clears throat> Getting them over into the garden. You know, you can do it two ways. I mean, we had a, a truck deliver them. And it was actually a lower truck than ours, so it probably was a little bit easier. These are not the giant rings, so they're a little bit <coughs> lighter. But one of the things, one of the first things that you can do if you pick them up and they put them in your truck is, I, you know, the ring has a lip, right? On the bottom, it has a hole already, but this hole is, is usually has one thin shell of cement in there so you just kind of just knock out a little bit more of it i already knocked it out but i can clean it up a little bit you just tap it with a hammer and it pops out that little thin piece that's in there which actually for me it makes it easy i can actually lift this and put it on the ground but if you can't lift it because you're old but you want to do stuff you can get a piece of wood a sturdy piece of wood this is an old teak piece of wood. I doubt it's going to break anywhere. But you can take this and put this on its side so it's right there on the piece of wood. And then you can just slide this piece of wood off and as it canters to the bottom, this will slide down. You can just maybe hold your hand there to brace it. I'll probably push this forward a little bit. If you have a longer piece of wood, it's probably better, but this is alright. And I go here. I even have a little bit more wood. A little bit more up there. And I'm just going to bring it down here like this. I've never done this before, but I'm sure it'll work. I just have to watch the speed at which this wants to slide down. There you go. So it's on the ground. I'm just going to let it slide down real slow. And boom. It's on the ground. Now, now that it's on the ground, in order to get me into position, I just very simply take it, roll it all the way down to where I need it. It's that easy, folks. The hard part for most people would probably be getting out of your truck, you know. My four wheel drive truck, it's a little bit raised, but uh, if you can lift it, lift it. I lifted it to put it back in here, show y'all how I did it. And I used a piece of wood, just like the Romans would, <laughs> to lever, leverage it so I didn't have to use all that strength getting it out of there. Actually, I probably use more strength getting it in there. But then I can just roll it downhill, not too much resistance, and then put it wherever I want to. And that's how all these got in place. 15 rings, 15 rolls. All right, now you know. Now my wife caught a fish before I did. Leave a go. Hmm? Leave a go. What do you got there, Dad? Mm. Whoa, look at that. Blah book. book. Mm -hmm. Macon mm -hmm. catfish. Mm -hmm.
นี่แล้วอยากคานว่ามันตัวใหญ่ขนาดไหนไงแต่เราไม่ได้ยับ that's first one we caught we caught them to check them out see how big they were in the pond and uh, yeah, that's good that's good twice the size it was when we put it in there Boom. Yeah, buddy. We can eat that one. But she just caught one earlier, too. She caught a, one just that big. It was a, a climbing perch out of the same lake, out of the same pond. So, pretty cool, man. I haven't caught one yet, though. I've been busy. I've been building walls and shit, man. What's that? You go ahead and put that away. Let your... Throw them back in there. Let them get bigger. You know the Mekong, right? They get, they get like that's the river monsters. When you see that was in the films. But I, uh, me, I worked more on the shop house this morning. It's like one o'clock right now. It's pretty much my quitting time. So I, I quit and took a shower. Come out here and do a little fishing. But what I've really done is just kind of leveled this up for a wall. Because this is the, oh, this is, why is this so dark? This is where it's going to be uh, going straight out there. I'm going to have to look at this. That's why it is dark. Yeah, okay. That's more like it. I don't know what was wrong with it. But it was dark, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the footage that I just did. But I think I got a little bit of the fish, Doc caught a fish. From the pond, one of our Mekong catfish, it's pretty big, about twice the size it was when we put it in there a couple months ago. She earlier caught a climbing perch, which I think we're going to eat. But me, I worked all morning on the shop house here. I put, um, remember the shop house, the sand is going straight out over, like out on like a lanai or deck, hearth, whatever you call it. But I. What I did was, I just buried, started the wall, kind of shorted up a little cement on the sides. As it's dug down, I'll go complete that, but that's mixing two batches of cement and digging all that down. That was a real bummer. Back here, I was able to finish the toilet part, but what I realized was that because I'm because I'm tying into the side wall here, I'm not going on the top. If I was going on the top, where the toilet came out right here, would have sufficed. But if I'm starting against the wall, I need that 12 inches center here for a toilet. So I had to actually, before I had to dig it out and move this forward to be able to get my 12 inches from the wall including a little bit of space for slip coat move that out so that was, a, that was a bummer but got it done and this is just in here kind of temporary let's see where it goes when i pour the cement but i'm getting there man I'm getting there all i gotta do is i'm gonna bring this wall up so it's level going straight out here i'm gonna fill it all in with this sand pack it down and as that packs, this should be able to pack neatly. I'm going to fix this up and lay the crossbar down. And then uh, we are going to be ready to pour cement. Once we pour the cement, we'll go ahead and... Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my knees, man. Pour the cement and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get them walls up. But uh, the other bummer was I I found this really cool window. It was, it was like twelve thousand baht, but it was on sale at Global for like five thousand five hundred or whatever. And um, it's like a big picture window in the middle, and it slides on the sides, and really big, you know. And um, it's two hundred forty centimeters across. And my window openings here, these two, as well as the one I'm sitting under, these are 230. 
I'm sorry, did I say 220? I don't know. Those are, the window is 240. And these are 230. Plus, you got to count for, you know, probably 10 on each side for framing and stuff like that. So my window can't be more than probably 210, you know, frame edge to frame edge. That'll sit in there. So I'm going to go, probably going to go back to, you know, my original thought, which is get a piece of glass and customize the frame. But those are 230. So I'm going to look at 210. I figure I'll give it a good 10 centimeters for uh, for a frame. I think 10 centimeters. I think I was looking at centimeters. But I was looking at inches. But yeah, pretty big. So that was a bummer. And another thing, I don't know if I discussed it already, but. I stopped working on the cement and stuff this morning because I think rain's coming. I was dead tired anyway. But uh, we have, uh, you know, I finished that electrical issue or fixed the hot shower and the small knockdown. <sighs> and I identified that, yeah, there was wiring issues. But then, um, we moved the big refrigerator over uh, from mom's house to this one, and and they got the aircon in there. And now it's, there was like some crackling, so that's not good. So I went and grabbed the uh, fuse box because it didn't even look straight, and uh, the fuse box sure enough, you know, oh my god! So we just. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with that. We called the electrician guy, and he came. He's here actually. Getting ready to leave, but uh, just redoing electrical for the whole house. I went and bought like I don't know, five, six thousand baht worth of uh, electrical, you know, junction boxes and conduiting and wire and all that stuff, so he can. Um, rewire that whole house rats have been feasting on the old wires in my previous video i showed they had those two rats that were they were both like dead right behind the light switch from chewing and stuff probably but yeah there's no rats in there now because cat's been in there for a few months but um yeah the wiring did no sense in, and it wasn't in really conduiting it was just kind of put down through the two by fours or whatever and it wasn't no sense in trying to rip it all out of there especially if it was all entangled from rats and this and that so just cut it you know and terminate the ends stuff it back in there and uh we're gonna he's gonna run the lines the new lines external for the wall i don't care i got some yellow conduit could find it there's no brown conduit but a yellow conduit so he's gonna put it's he's gonna go in that house when he's finished and it's gonna have like these yellow conduit lines running around but it's a small knockdown it's it's cool man at least that way the rats won't chew uh, I mean they can chew through the plastic conduit no problem but the conduit's gonna be external right it's on the wall so it's gonna be a little hard for them to uh, feel comfortable and chew on that besides that you know, the mom's in there now, and, and the cats are around, so I don't think we're going to have uh, mice issues. Noise that you hear in the attic or whatever, it's, it's, it's those geckos. Those are the big toque. They go run around there. Those are geckos, man. Those aren't rats. They're big enough, they sound like cats, actually. But anyway, yeah, uh, probably going to rain. As always, oh my gosh, I hear that now, my shoulder pop. Shoulder crack, pushing off my cracked knees. <sighs> All right, man. Well, we'll get back at you later. Well, this is the this is the whoa. Yeah, they jump, climbing perch. They actually climb. They can climb right out of the water. Here, check them out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so 
inch cut that one a little bit ago and then just gonna catch the inch cut that Mekong one. Put a cap on it though, so he doesn't jump himself out of there. Well, in addition to um, the walls, or in addition to digging all that and doing that wall prep, I got done with that. And then before I really quit and went and took a shower, I did more on this. More sanding on the thing, more sanding on the sides, which is brutal, even with the electric sander. So I gotta do it, I'm gonna just, I'll just do a little bit of that each day. I can't do a whole lot, man. All right, all right, we'll get back at you. Well, indeed, it is raining again. You know, I often talk about the rain, but I don't really move around in it. But just finished putting the shading on that trellis, although I think I need to have it, you know, coming down the sides more the rain comes in at an angle. And I was also sanding on the bench, of which I couldn't, I had to stop in the middle of it because of the rain, but you get an idea of kind of what, um, I'm trying to protect my camera here with my hood. See, so that's the side that was, it's not sanded yet. And this one I'm sanding. So you can see when it's done, it's gonna look like this because I'll have that lacquer on there. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I don't think my camera got too wet. Try to keep it under my little hoodie. Anyway, another pain in the rain. Oh, I also I uh, washed my tent. The only tent I took with me. I washed it, left it outside. Now, you know what? I'm gonna let it get rained on. Kind of give it a blessing. Let it get rained on, let the wash get off of there because I did use some soap, so. Mostly because, you know, the cat peed on there, but. Not anymore, man. It's a nice little tent. It's actually a long one. I mean, it's, uh, like a sleeper tent, it's long this way. Uh, but I do think it's, you know, I think it's three person ten if you, if you lay one, two, three next to each other, you know. But I, know, I, I use it for myself and just me and Dot. Or I should say me, Dot, and one dog. I do see also that in the rain, the, um, Try and cover this. Yep, from my other video, the whoa, the white flowers are all coming out of on that one. Wow, there's gonna be a million of them. And the red one's already coming out there too. Boom. Yep, it's going, man. It's going. Like right, you say, it's growing. Camera got a little wet there. All right, man. Well, whoa. That's about it for that. Stay out of the rain, man. I just got a slip and slide. All right, back at you.